Tory Lanez might have discovered something, bro. He might have cracked the fucking code. This man is dropping a mixtape from jail. Those of you who's tapped in with Tory Lanez, y'all know every week he's been dropping, like, he's been dropping a little two-pack from this project, or I guess this mixtape he's starting to build on called Lost Tapes. Obviously, Tory Lanez is in a situation where he can't really record music right now, but apparently he did. Apparently he did. So he dropped a video on social media saying that even through the jail phone, while he's on the collect call, his engineer is able to record his voice and mix it and master it in a way where it sounds like as if he's in the booth. So we're going to see. We're going to see. We got a little two-pack here. So I see on the cover art, this is what I was mentioning earlier. I see on the cover art, it says lost tapes, but the lost part is blanked out and it's covered with prison. So I guess... He's continuing the lost tapes even amidst his incarceration situation, which is like, yo, come on, bro. If this motherfucker don't look out for his fans, y'all can't tell me. You, you cannot tell me no artist look out for his fans if you think he does not look out for his fans, bro. This man is in fucking jail. He's in the worst fucking case. He's in the worst case scenario right now. This man, he, he's away from his people, his family. He ain't seen the world in months. He's been locked in a fucking box and this motherfucker is still thinking about his fans. Thinking about his fans enough that he's scheming ways to make music and drop music. Yo, y'all gotta appreciate this man, bro. Tory Lanez is gonna be, he's gonna be one of the greatest artists when, when all is said and done. This man is gonna go down as one of the greatest artists of all time. I'm telling you now, bro. We're gonna check out Cell 245 first and then we're gonna get into Wish I Never Met You. But without further ado, we got... One of the greatest artists of all time, Tory Lanez, with the two-pack. Y'all enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Let's fucking go. Cell 245 is the first track. You have a great day from Tory. Any cards that may be in the visual lab, a California correctional institution. Thank you for giving global penalty. They gave speedy 20 years, been trying to get them out of this. I've been rolling with some shots, trying to dip them out of the whip. Yo, so off the muscle... He was not lying. Quality is A1. This is a jail call? Y'all got me fucked up, bro. This If this is a jail call, yo, we better eat, bro. We better eat. Because this motherfucker is in, bro, he's about to drop music forever, bro. He's about to drop music forever, bro. He's got nothing to do. All he's got to do is think and make music. We better fucking eat. Free Tory, though. Free Tory. <laughs> Fuck with me, bro. Fuck with me, bro. We putting the volume up. We putting the... Yo, Tori. Yo. Yo, bro. Slide it. Hold on. Bro, he said shootings gave me PTSD, bro. You find hammers in the crib. You find hammers in the fucking cabinet, in the kitchen. Bro, I had to keep the strap everywhere within an arm's reach. This shit got me paranoid, bro. Like...
keep it. I keep it. So chill when you fucking with me. We good. We good. Worst case scenario, I got you covered in the worst case. Come on. Fucking with me. From jail, he's out doing you rappers, bro. From jail, he's out doing you rappers. The fuck? All right, we got the next track. Wish I Never Met You. This sound like it's more towards the R&B vibe. Let's see what you're talking about on this one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. For sure. say this shit i love how the beat is seamlessly changing from like an afro beats from like a reggaeton feel to like a hip-hop feel and like his flow changes with the beat i love that shit the seamlessness in this fucking track is yo undeniable whole change up first place Goodness, bro. Slow it down.
Nobody in this game is giving you a song like this, bro. Like, that motherfucker gave you three fucking tracks in one track. And kept it within the time constraint of one track. Different, bro. This shit is different levels, bro. This motherfucker was shit on you boys when he was out. And he's about to shit on you boys when he's in jail. Like, who's going to tell me anything about Tory Lanez, bro? What the fuck can you, what can you say about this man? Bro, from prison. Remember that shit. I need y'all to remember that shit. Like, we hearing this type of quality and, like, variety, diversity, whatever you want to say. We hearing this shit and this motherfucker saying this shit through a jail phone. Which brings me to my next question. I know Tory Lanez freestyle. He don't write music. So, is he writing? In jail? I wouldn't imagine so. Man's been freestyling for so many years. That's gotta just be his his mojo. Like I don't I feel like once you get into the into the flow of making songs through freestyling, you just not really going back from that because it's so free flow. You can't you can't mimic that on pen. You gotta really sit down and think on pen. So it's like, how the fuck does this shit work? Cause I know those collect calls are limited time. You can't just be on the phone forever. Unless maybe he's got some sort of privileges or something, but I don't know how jail work. Like, this motherfucker getting on a limited time collect call and just dropping a little 1632? This man make dropping four-minute tracks from fucking prison. How is this possible? How is he doing this shit? Regardless, he's he's doing it, bro. He's doing it and he's fucking killing it. Two for two easily so far with this prison tape shit. And he dropping this every Friday? Oh, my God, bro. We better be here. Reacting to Tory Lanez every Friday. Word to me, bro. What the fuck? Y'all let me know what y'all thought about these two tracks. I think he fucking killed it. I think if he was out right now and he released these shits, I would think they I would think they fly anyway. But the fact that he's from prison, I would say you gotta cut him slack because he's from he's in prison right now, and it's not like he got all his equipment and utilities with him. But that shit clearly don't even it don't even fucking matter. This man can be locked in the fucking solitary confinement and he's still going to be dropping better music than 90% of the rap game. The fuck is we talking about, bro? Y'all let me know what y'all thought about these two tracks and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.